Hey y'all, just wanted to do the practice problems for Unit 1, Lesson 1.01. Example 1 asks you to define what a ray is. So a ray is just, um, it's not really a segment, it's not really a line, it's kind of if they had a baby. <laughs> um, you will have one direct point and then um, a line, so to speak, going off from that point with an arrow at the end. So the options are a piece of a line with two endpoints. Nope, definitely doesn't have two endpoints. Uh, po all points equidistant from a given point. That would be a circle, so that's a negatory. Um, two line segments with a co common endpoint. Nope. And a piece of a line that starts at an endpoint, bam, and ends indefinitely or extends indefinitely in um, one direction. So that is what a ray is. For number two, so to analyze the diagram to answer the questions, another way to say, or another way to name angle S, A, C, this angle right here, would be, seems simple enough, you're just going to go, instead of going this way and naming it, you're going to go this way. So you're going to start at C and go to A and then to S. So those are equal. Okay, it says a point on ray AS. Ray means it starts at A and goes to S. So a point on there would be ding, 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 point T. And then ray, ray AR, AR, and AB. Create what angle? Well, there's two different ways you could name this angle. So we could say we have angle R A B or angle B A R. Either one, either you start here and go to A and then to B, or you can start at B, go to A, and then to R. Those are all the same, um, or both of those are the same. It doesn't matter which way you um, explain those because they're both correct. Number three, says that planes X and Y intersect at a right angle. And there's this right angle right here. The planes are, I just think of them like as pieces of paper. So we've got our X piece of paper and our Y piece of paper and they intersect at a right angle where I just did the red um, 90 degree mark. Line A, B which is this line here. I purposely try not to do it straight because I never do it straight. And CG lie on plane X and do not intersect. So if they lie on the same plane and do not intersect, that means they are ding, 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 parallel. Notice our little arrows here. And then it says line RS lies in plane Y. Okay, well that's pretty simple enough. We can see it right here. So let's look at what statements could possibly true could be true from the information that we've been given. And it's really nice over here. It tells us which three options. But sometimes I wish they wouldn't tell you how many because then if you accidentally get one incorrect, you once you get to three, you'll just be like, oh, I don't need to read anymore. And then, well, just not pretty. Okay, so which statements are true? Angle A, not angle. Line AB and line CG are parallel. AB, CG, yep, we already said that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Then it says AB and RS are parallel. So AB and RS is over here. Um, nope, that ain't true. CG and RS are perpendicular. Well, that is where they meet, right? So those would be perpendicular because it has that 90 degree angle. Awesome sauce, okay? A, B, and R, S must intersect. So R, S goes through C, G. It doesn't have to intersect. I don't, I don't see it really intersect with this anyway. You might be like, oh, lupo, duh, right here. But that's just the way that I drew the point. It really looks like C, G could be like this. And then AB is something, 
parallel it could almost be like over here with CG so that one's those will they don't have to intersect C G lies in plane X well yeah that's right R S lies in plane X nope it lies in Y number four the undefined terms line and plane are needed to precisely define which mathematical terms you want to think okay which term do I have to have the word line and plane so of course line you would need that for line segment but I, I wouldn't need plane for line segment um ray that ray has nothing to do with a plane okay so so far we've narrowed it down to these two <clears throat> Perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Well, perpendicular lines could be in the same plane or could not. Parallel have to be in the same plane. So we'll say parallel lines because they have to be in the same plane and they do have to be the same distance from each other and never intersect. Number five. Which statements are true regarding this diagram? Check all that apply. All, such a scary word in math. Okay, so we have, notice how there's no arrows at the ends here. That means that it's line segment. So line segment C, B is contained on line N. N's way down here, nerp, okay? This is CE where it starts at C and goes to E. It starts at C and goes to E. This array can, is contained on line M. Huh, well, that is accurate. It's just a portion of line M. Okay, Ray BC. Ray BC. Okay, so ray from B going to C would be like that. Ray CB would start at C and go to B like this. That is not the same because they got two different endpoints. Trickster. Okay. Ray D. A. D. Same line. So I can't go to C. Yeah, because a line continues. That arrow tells me it's just going to keep going on. So yes, those are the same. And oh man, let me um erase the parallel. Okay, create from. A, E, that ray. Okay, I believe that. And then D, A. No, that was an A, D. I would highly believe that. No, you can't start a D and go to A. Nerp. Angle E, D. Whoa, E. Looks good. I'm a visual person, so I have to actually like write these out. Number six, which geometric figures are drawn on the diagram? So let's see. CA, that is a line segment, which means it has points at C and A. C, A definitely have points. Got it. Okay, C, A, Ray CA, so it has a point at C and has an arrow or could pass by A. Show enough. All right, angle A, B, C, angle A, B, there's no line there, C. So that one is a negative because there's not a line here. I just made it up. Circle C, uh, well, yeah, because circles are named by their center. 
We learned that. Ray B E B to E. Nope, that line doesn't exist either. Array, not line, really. Then we have angle B C E. Yep, that's most definitely there. Um, segment A E. There's not a line that goes from A to E, so that one's not it either. Look there. Zoom in right along. And last but certainly not least, number seven, determine if each statement is always, sometimes, or never true. Parallel lines are blank coplanar. Coplanar means they lie on the same plane. This is one reason I kind of talked about planes earlier with parallel lines. So parallel lines are always coplanar, always and forever. Okay. Perpendicular lines are always coplanar. The distance around an unmarked circle. So if nothing is marked here, if you don't know the radius or you don't know the circumference or the area or anything, the distance around an unmarked circle can never, it can never be measured. So I hope that helped with this first lesson.